Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a very highly requested video on my channel. A lot of you guys have been asking for this video, so I'm finally doing it. And that is a what is on my iPhone video. I'm going to show you guys all of the apps I use, how I set up and organize my phone, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. So I have a 6S Plus in rose gold. I do have like a see-through phone case, but I feel like I need to wash it, so I didn't want to show that in this video, but yeah, that's just the phone case that I use. It's just simple and see-through, but I probably should have a case with a bumper on it just because I drop my phone sometimes, but luckily it hasn't broken yet, so knock on wood. So for my lock screen, it's a photo of where my fiance and I are going to get married. Hopefully you can see water and ooh, okay <laughs> water and the beach and all that it's just really pretty so that's my lock screen and then for my home screen unlock unlock i swear sometimes this thumb thing like won't ever work so here's what the first page of my phone looks like i have a lot of apps on there and a lot of folders personally i like to have everything i use on the front page Second page is stuff that I pretty much never really use, and I don't even have a third page. And that's just because I feel like I can never find apps. Like, I will have apps in the same place for forever, as long as I have it, and I feel like I can't find it. So, I just like to have everything I know I want to use on, like, an everyday basis on the first page. So, the very first app I have is just my messages, photos, the camera, my calendar, settings, the clock, obviously, for, like, alarms. Um, the App Store and iTunes, weather. And so the next like real app, the one that isn't just on all iPhones, is Yelp. I love Yelp for restaurant reviews and photos whenever we try out a new restaurant. Here's just like a random restaurant, but I always like to look at like photos of their food. I think that's really interesting and just read what people think about the restaurant. But I will say, and this is just something that I always say to people just because it's almost like 90% of people or something. It's a really high amount of people who actually write reviews on Yelp will only write a review if it's a negative one so just keep that in mind I always tell people that because I don't know like sometimes when you read these like really horrible reviews it's someone who's talking about something that's so random that isn't about like food or service it's just I don't know it's like they have an itch to say something really mean or something so just keep that in mind like I just really like to use Yelp just to look at photos of food and just see what people are saying about restaurants next is Starbucks and I go to Starbucks pretty much every day but I forgot I had this so I really should start to use it again but it's basically a way to pay for a Starbucks and to earn points and rewards and all that stuff 21 stars until I reach a new level and I forgot I even had this, so I should start to use this when I'm at Starbucks because I definitely should get something free by now. Next is the running app from Nike, and this is really cool if you run outside. I used to run outside all the time. I don't do it anymore since it's winter here. I work out inside at a gym, but I keep it on the front page just because since I've had this app, I've run over 215 miles, which is ridiculous. Just the fact that it says I've run 215 miles with this app, like, I'm going to keep it forever. I'm really proud of that. Next is Pandora. I have Pandora on pretty much all the time. I love Pandora. And then the next app I have is like a period app. A lot of girls have period apps. They come in handy, definitely. I have PD is what it says. I don't know what it's actually called, but PD is the app and that's what the front of the app looks like. It's the one right next to Pandora. Then I have my Pinterest app. I love Pinterest. If you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, I will have my Pinterest name in the down bar. Honestly, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> then I have my notes app, which I used to use notes like literally all the time, but I got a new app for that that I'll talk about in a second. Next is my news app, and I don't really open this that much. I really like to read about the news, but I will just find it on like the internet. I don't really use apps for news, so I just think that's handy every once in a while. I like to use that one and that's just like the iPhone app for the news. Next is Wonderlist and I'm obsessed with this app. I use it every single day. It's just for making lists obviously. It comes with a bunch of categories like it has a bunch of lists pre-named but I changed the name to a lot of them. So I have a list for today. I have one 
for what I need at the grocery store or things I need to do for YouTube. One for the gym because whenever I go, I always forget something if I switch out the bag that I'm using or like the purse I'm using or whatever. So I just have a list of everything I need for the gym. Or so when you finish something on your list, when you pick something up at the store, whatever, then you just push in the little square and it makes a sound and it's just done and then you can show completed to do's. It shows you everything that is done so I love Wonderlist. If you guys are forgetful or if you just want something to keep track of things then Wonderlist is a really cool app. Next is Relax M and it has like a moon and I think it's like a pond or something. I don't know. It's really cute and we always sleep with a fan on but it's winter so it's a little too cold to sleep with a fan on so we just use this one right here white noise and there's like pages of sounds and i don't know if you can hear it but it's just simple it's just what it sounds like with a fan on and I know it kind of seems annoying at first, but once it's on for like 30 seconds, I feel like I don't even hear it anymore. We always just sleep way better with this app on, so Relax M is what it's called. It's free in the app store. Now I need to turn it off. <laughs> okay, next I have a couple of folders, and the first one is photography. So whenever I hear about a good photo editing app, I always will download it and save it for later. So a lot of these photo editing apps that you see, I haven't even tried out yet. I really only use like one or two regularly. And then I have an app for my camera, the one I'm filming with. That way I could like take photos with this app instead of touching the camera. Or I have one for our GoPro, which is kind of the same thing. Like it's a way to start recording or take photos from your phone without even touching the camera so those come in handy every once in a while so the next app i have in the bottom corner here is finance and that is just for paying bills for my bank all that kind of thing that comes in really handy i love apps for paying bills it makes it a lot easier and then you don't forget about them it's just really convenient right next to that i have transportation and that one is just for maps for uber when I lived in San Francisco, I used to take public transit a lot, so for the BART and the Muni, those two are like San Francisco apps. Obviously, since I'm not even living there anymore, I don't really need them, but I don't know. I don't want to erase them yet. I'm still like attached a little bit, so I still have those even though obviously there isn't really a reason for me to have them. Google Maps though, right here, oh, right there, is like the best map app ever if you are driving obviously in your own car it's great but also if you live in a city where you take public transit it's awesome i think it's just so much easier than the iphone map so if you guys haven't tried it definitely check it out it's free of course and then i have social so in social i have facebook snapchat instagram and twitter i have all of my links in the down bar and then next to that i have my youtube app so that's everything i use on my phone at least for youtube so I have like the regular one that comes on the iPhone to watch videos. I have my mailbox that is for my email for YouTube, which is in my Instagram bio. Studio, which is great for people who make videos on YouTube. It's a way to reply to comments and just to see like how many people are watching your videos. A whole bunch of different things and then I just have a shortener for links just to make smaller links because with YouTube it won't allow you to have like full-size links in your description box you have to shorten them so that's just what I use that for and then on the bottom it's just the same ones as everyone I feel like everyone has these down here right just phone Safari mail and iTunes and then on the next page like I said is just apps I never really use so I'm not really going to take the time to go through those but that's just everything on the second page a lot of it is just stuff that is on the iPhone when you get it so. so that's everything that's on my iPhone I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and make new videos all the time and I will see you guys in my next video bye